be all clear. They're sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Sapphire Petunia is right there shortly after the start. Towards the inside of that one is Noodle. Roy's Folly. Art Attack is on the outside of runners. Ali Whoopi. Just Strap is further back in the run. Chambermaid is near the rail. The Big White Blaze about five lengths off the leader. Further back in the field at this stage. Fashion Display. And then comes She's a Dream. That's racing about six lengths off them with Sarabi. And then we drop to River Air. Princess and Alias in the back seat. Nine or ten lengths off the lead. As they move to the entrance of the straight, and it's Art Attack who brings them in. Sapphire Petunia is back second. Just wrapped, then comes Royce Folly. Noodle is towards the inside. They're followed by Chambermaid. Towards the outside of that is She's a Dream. Art Attack, Sapphire Petunia. Royce Folly on the inside. She's a Dream. Just wrap is towards the outside. Sapphire Petunia, She's a Dream. Just wrap. Royce Folly, Chambermaid. She's a Dream, they hit the front. And it's She's a Dream. Sarabi's running on from behind, but She's a Dream's going to win. And She's a Dream won. Sapphire Petunia or just trap involved in the Sarabi. Number 11, She's a Dream. Third Kahal to arrive. So Carl aside, the winner of two, now three. Mark Dixon, Ashton Aries. And back-to-back -back victories for She's a Dream. One last time in the Maidens. Wins again. And wins nice and readily by about three lengths. Second gets close. Sapphire Petunia's got the white nose band and just wrap. It gets very, very close. Uh, we'll, have to, well, we'll leave that to the judges. Very close. Just wraps in front there. And that's with the red sleeves and cap. Probably that could have run second, but we'll leave that to the judges. Then Sapphire Petunia. Further back in the field was Sarabi. And then Royce Folly, Chambermaid. Tote favourite ended up number five. And that was Chambermaid. Further back, Princess Analia. And then came Noodle. So we take a look at the head on and she's a dream. She comes forward and she wins it well. Sapphire Petunia and Just Wrap there on the right hand side. Royce Folly and Chambermaid. But she's a dream number 11 pays 460 a win. Tote favourite was number 5. Back to the studio. Another Kahal to arrive this afternoon. She's a dream has come through the like nations. We get Mark Dixon into the hot box here. Let's get Mark Dixon. Mark, if you want to come and have a chat to us. Now, coming to the course today, obviously, first time out the Maidens, but she looks like she's quite useful. Yeah, look, it's, it's, I suppose it's easy to say after the event, but I've always thought a lot of this, really, from, from where to go, really, and obviously a massive jump up in class straight out of the Maidens, but, you know, if they're as progressive and as good as you think they are, then... If they don't win, they've got to be right there. So I said to the guys, look, you know, we'll be disappointed if she's not in the first three, but I'll, I'll still believe that she can win a race of this type. The more you look at it, the more nervous you get, the more competitive it gets. But the way she won just, you know, just shows me that she, I think she is really a progressive filly and uh, I hope the guys, big supporters of the stable, it's great for them to have another good horse. I think, uh, I think they're going to have a lot of fun with her and there's still a lot of improvement. I mean, I thought the only thing might get a beat today was, uh, more than anything, was the, was the trip, the six furlongs, you know. She's crying out for further to Fort Woodmere. So I think there's a lot to come. Enjoy the victory. I will do, thanks. Let's get Ashton Aries in, jumping aboard. She's a dream for the first time. Now that smile says it all. You were expecting to come through. Yes, sir. We were about three wide. But this fellow was wild today, so in a nice race. I just want to say a big thank you to Mr. Dixon and to the owners. Well done. Thanks, sir. You know, um, the, oh, Mr. Dixon has been a big supporter of mine. I'd like him to thank for that and all the trainers that support me. Keep up the hard work. Thank you very much, sir. Let's get the connections going to come through. We've got the green shirt. She's also going to come through and have a chat there. Now, her name says it all. She's a dream. Yeah, and she's got a temperament to match it. 
Uh, you know, Mark's always thought so highly of this filly, and uh, you know, she didn't beat a whole lot last time, so we thought he always was convinced as well that she was a lot better on the turf. So we're really excited about today's run, and I guess today was going to answer the questions as to whether she's as good as Mark thinks. But uh, she quickened like a really smart horse. She was wide most of the way. Um, so I think it was quite an impressive win, and I think she's probably ready for an extra furlong now as well. But uh, well done to Rex and Gary. Gary's away, unfortunately. It was so lovely to have Bob's here to help us lead her in. Um, Ashton, what a great ride. Uh, you know, he's loved this filly from the day that she came into the yard. So it was really great that he got the opportunity. And then uh, Bruce LaRue. Again, we've had so much success with him. Family of London call. Um, you know, he's just a top-class breeder. And, of course, to Mark, who's done an amazing job with the horse. Come through, have the final say. Uh, obviously, coming to the course, a little bit of nerves, not quite sure what to expect. But that last 300 metres, I suppose you're running down to the winner's enclosure. It was fantastic. When, uh, when I saw her come through, through the gap that opened in the middle, she was going like an absolute winner. And I still said to Mark, I think we got this. Nice colours as well, you can't miss them. Well, yes, same as London Core. And perhaps just to add uh, a word for Hayley Dixon, um, she invited me when we broke She's a Dream In. And I still remarked when we saw her in the, in the paddock that day that uh, she looked like a great filly and she was going to go places and uh, she was the one that chose the horse. So, well done Hayley, I think it was an excellent choice. This is what dreams are made of, enjoy the journey. Thank you very much. Well done, you can see the excited connections, number 11, She's a Dream, living up to her name.